Remember the non-binary high school student who was supposedly bullied, then got beat up in a bathroom, showed up at the hospital, told the cops as such, What? Then died. What? Then her parents and the media blamed those haters on the right? Oh, it's true! Well, the medical examiner's report came out and, uh, she died by suicide. Fuck! We'll wait for the apologies. <laughs> I'm Jasper Gonzo and this. It's what's next. A happy Monday, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jazz Borgonzo. What's the next? Your daily dose. Common sense, facts, and salt. Hope you guys are feeling good today as we begin the new week. Same bullshit, but then again, as always in the new week, there's always new bullshit. Well, speaking of, remember the, and I know we may have to go way, way, way back to a few months. There was a girl. She called herself non-binary. She supposedly got bullied in high school, got beat up in a bathroom, showed up at the hospital, told the cops and her parents such, then died. And then, of course, the media and the parents blamed those awful ooh, haters on the right. Well, the autopsy report came out from the medical examiner and um, turned out that uh, she didn't die because she got beat up in the bathroom because of her injuries. She died uh, from committing suicide. We'll wait for those apologies, but, um, yeah, I'm not holding my breath. And here we go. This comes out of Fox News. Benedict, I won't call her next because I don't know her real name, but, uh, Miss Benedict, a trans, quote, activist, White House seized on non-binary teens' death as full report awaited, because that's what they do. The death of the non-binary student. One day after the fight inside of an Oklahoma high school bathroom has led to a national outcry of the White House condemnation. Owasso police said the investigation into 16-year-old Benedict's death on February 8th is ongoing, with the state medical examiner office ruling it a suicide. There's no need for the cops to go ongoing. He just ruled a suicide by the M.E., but sure, you, you keep examining. Family members have said that their child was a victim of bullying at the school because next identified as non-binary, neither male or female, basically, um... A mental illness. A complete report of Benedict's death is scheduled to be released on March 27th. White House Press Secretary Jean-Luc Picard addressed a preliminary autopsy report from the podium Friday's press briefing calling Benedict's death devastating. As the president said yesterday, every young person deserves to be, have the fundamental right of freedom and who they are and feel safe and supported at school and their communities. Jean-Luc said, bullying is a completely unacceptable. It is and is all of us to take reports on bullying seriously. Bullying is... There, there's, no, there's no place for it. It happened when I was in school, you know, as a Gen Xer, and, and it's just gotten worse, but this is different. The Benedict family released a statement through an attorney emphasizing, uh, though, next death was ruled a suicide by the medical examiner's office. There are, quote, other pertinent portions of the report that should not be overshadowed by the classification of next's death. Yes, make sure you don't misrepresent Miss Benedict, you know call it wrong pronouns or anything, but, you know, but medical examiner's report doesn't mean anything. Rather than allow incomplete accounts to take hold and spread any further. No, they're not incomplete. The medical examiner ruled it a suicide because she was depressed. The Benedicts feel completely um, compelled to provide a, a summary of those findings which have not been yet released by the medical examiner's office, particularly those of contradict allegations of the assault on Nexus being insignificant, the family attorney said. Well, she didn't get, she didn't die because she got beat up in the bathroom. She didn't die because of bullying. Now, if her suicide led to being forced to do so, that's a whole different situation, which again falls back to bullying. Details released by the family include a scene suffered non-lethal head and neck trauma, including contusions, lacerations, abrasions. An abraded contusion on next chest was consistent to having occurred during a CPR, according to the portion, according, yes, during the CPR portion of the full medical examiner's report released by the family. The Benedicts continue to call on schools, administrators, lawmakers, and communities to come together to prevent any family uh, from having to suffer through the heartache now borne by Nexus loved ones, the attorney said. Reforms creating uh, school environments are built upon pillars of respect, inclusion, and grace, and aim to eliminate bullying and hate. All types of change that, uh, that are involved should be able to rally behind. The death of any child is devastating to parents. And I said that on my prior video when this... When this news first broke 
not about the report, but uh, actually about the initial bullying and, of course, the supposed beating up in the bathroom. But when you say that you were involved in a bathroom fight, and then you at the hospital tell a cop such as, and, of course, anybody can pull up the video regarding it, and then she dies, and then both the parents and the media jump on that horse and ride it all the way through and saying it was those on the right, those like Fox News, those like uh, Donald Trump, those like anybody on the right, it's their fault that Miss Benedict died. And then come the medical examiner's report comes out and basically blows all that out of the water and says, no, she died by suicide, most likely because she was depressed, aka in regards to the bullying. At least the family recognizes the report by the by the by the medical examiner, not just dismissing it and poo-pooing it. But those on the left, those of you on the woke, those of you in the LGBTQ community are going to continue to say she died because she got beat up and not by suicide. They will continue to ride that dead horse. Or beat that dead horse, shall we say. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anywho. At the end of the day is this, bullying should not be tolerated in any form. There is teasing, there is, you know, a little bit of hazing, a little bit of grazing. That's what happens. It happened when I was in school back in the 80s. It happens now, except now it's just on steroids now. But when you got those who even look at you cross-eyed or even those who say, hey, you know what? Hey, girl, I'm not a girl. I'm a boy. How dare you? I'm offended. I'm being bullied. Mr. Principal, do something about him. That's not bullying. You're a girl, you're a girl. You're a boy, you're a boy. That's, that's calling you out for what you are. I don't care what you got going on in your head, but what's between your legs pretty much tells the story. But anywho, the death of a child, no parents should have to suffer. None. No matter what the circumstance. But truth is truth, and bullshit is bullshit. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss a thing. I appreciate you guys for you guys watching and sharing. And uh, continue to do what you do. Continue to help the show grow. And we'll catch you next time. Peace.